Okay, this video is to show the custom uh, bunk that I built inside my Edge uh, 192 RV. It only had really three beds, the two beds up front and then this bed back here. So we needed a third, a fourth bed, sorry. So I built this um, basically hammock that's uh, strung up on aluminum poles. And I'll show you how I built this. It, uh, it collapses and stows away really nice and neatly. Okay, I'm showing you how I constructed the, the, the hangers for the poles. Here's the aluminum pole that strings across from side to side. This is a really strong aluminum pole that I picked up from a local um, warehouse, but you can see this is a really, really strong, strong pole. Very little uh, bender flex when I get into it. So uh, the problem was finding something I could hang onto the walls of the RV to string the poles onto that would be nice and strong. And that when I found it was the walls of the RV are only about uh, about an inch thick. So I had to devise something to put these screws into. And if you can see behind you, behind these screws right here, I have these anchors that are screwed into the wall. And then I have actually epoxied, I poured a bunch of epoxy in, into the hole and then put in this anchor in the hole. And then I used appropriate length screws to screw into the wall and that is in there it isn't going anywhere um, uh, had as much as a 200 pound guy on this and uh, no problem at all it holds it up very well at each end I have a, uh, a closed circle and at the opposite end I have it open so I can easily put the poles in and out and I just alternate it from side to side but they're all using the same anchoring system to put the poles into I'll just show you how the poles I'll go in. So take the pole, try to do this and film at the same time. Goes into that end. Goes in like this. And this is you just check the measure to make sure the poles are the right length. And there you got your poles. And as you can see when I hang on this, it really doesn't bend very much at all. So so that's what the pole looks like in in the in the hangers. Uh, I'll show you how I um, put the hammock together here in a second. Okay, now I have the hammock laid out. Kind of just go over briefly how I put this together. I just measured the distance between the poles and added an inch or two. And then bought this uh, fabric. I think it was uh, Joanne's Fabrics or something like that. It's basically just a really cheap canvas. And I laid it down on the floor. And then I actually used tape to hold it together. Well, I got the, the sizing right. And then I used my trusty sewing machine, which I barely know how to use. And I just sewed two stitches. I'm not sure if you can see this real well. Sewed two stitches down each length, basically where it's folded over. So there's basically a pocket here. There's a pocket in each end for the pole to go into. And that's, uh, I mean, it's very basic. Just a a stretch of canvas with the ends folded over to make a pocket for the um, aluminum poles and then sew nice and strong. Okay, as you can see now I've strung the poles inside the pockets in the hammock. In this particular case the uh, the distance over here was a little bit longer than over here by the, by the cabinet so I had to make sure they have the poles marked so I have bed head and bed foot marked on the poles so I have the right poles in the right place. And all it takes is see if I can put this in there while I'm filming. Basically just put this in there like that. Go down to the other end. Swing this up. Pops right in there. Swing this down. Down there like that. Okay, now the next one. Same procedure. Stick that in there, with that foot. Okay. We'll go back up into this side. And we pop that in there. It's all in there nice and tight. Pull this down. Pull that down. And there we have our hammock. One extra person ready to sleep inside the hammock. Of it. No problem. 
see when you're on it it definitely flexes a little bit but I'm like 180 pounds so and it, uh, it does nicely so you can change the distance across the fabric if you want to make it straighter or not but as you can see here I'm bouncing on it and it's plenty strong uh, on both ends and that's uh, that's the hammock Okay, my son Joe is going to hop into the hammock to kind of show you how comfy it is. Wow. Is it pretty comfy there, Joe? Yeah, of course. What happened to the pillow? You know what you need? You need a, you need a pillow. Yes, yes. Where's That's your pillow? Let's grab a here. pillow. Yes. There you go. I'll show you how comfy you are here. Uh, and that's it. Actually it is pretty, it is oh, pretty he comfy. Oh, there's a pillow right here. Oh, was there? Mm. It is pretty comfy, isn't it? I'll switch my heads. A bigger guy can fit in here. Probably up to 200 pounds, but... It's good to put little guys up here.